welcome to Chef and Guests. My name is Kriya Gangia and today we're going to be cooking something very different. It is a hibiscus pomegranate grilled chicken with a citrus couscous and of course joining me in the kitchen is Marianne Varys. Welcome. Thank you so much Chef. All right, tell me a little bit more about this dish. Okay, what we're going to do today, we are going to take a very new product that is on the market and this is from Master Stock. So they have taken basically, they've taken um, traditional herbs and they've created a spice with them or salts with them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use their products today, um, very new to me. And I've created from the products that they have, I've created this menu. So for me, it's the first time and I think it's the first time that you'll be tasting this. So because it's in spring and summer, we yeah. try something very, I try something very fresh. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take your grilled breast of chicken. You can obviously use any different type of chicken. You can use it on your, your legs, yeah. on the bone, so on a bone or whatever. So I'm going to take the grilled piece of chicken. But today, because this is a thick piece, what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice it a little bit so that when the herbs uh, are entered onto the chicken that they infuse within. Because usually when you cut the chicken inside, yes. there is no flavor. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to put some, some cuts into the chicken so that we can flavor them. So the spices that I'm, what, the spices that I'm going to use today is the part of the range is, so they've made it very easy for us. They've given us an hibiscus salt. Oh, that's easy. So this is hibiscus salt. So I've got some hibiscus salt that I'm going to use. And then I'm also going to use some of the, um, sorry, this is the pomegranate salt. And this is the hibiscus salt. So they also have some dried uh, pomegranates, which I'm also going to use in the, mar in the marinade. So what we do is we're just going to take a little bit of the, pomegranate salt and I put it in the ridges so that it gets flavor all over there. And you don't really run into the risk now of over salting, over -salting it. I've actually tasted these, these, these salts and they are not as salty as your okay, normal Okay, so it's kind of like a rub it's, instead it's of a more, salt. It's more of a salt rub. So yeah, I've, I've tasted them and they've not... Little. So I know my own besides uh, the range that they have, which is actually a... a, a, a how can I say? There's a a product for them because I'm using cumin. So maybe they should make some cumin, cumin a little hint, guys. A cumin infused salt because cumin for me just brings out uh, another flavor. Yeah. And then just for a little, little tiny bit of spice, spice I'm using some paprika. I mean, is so this something you need to spice a little things bit up of, a little. of spice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just rubbing that in. And then if you want to, what I'm also going to add is a little bit of pepper. Okay. So we can add a little bit of oh, pepper. Oh, you can smell so that the, cumin. Yeah, the cumin, uh, that's fresh, fresh, freshly roasted cumin. So I'm going to add some pepper there. And then another thing I'm going to add is some chopped garlic. So I also just chopped the garlic beforehand. So also just rub the garlic in. in. And then finally, because we just want to add a little sweetness, because we're adding pomegranate, we, we want some sweetness. So you can take some honey as well, and you can just rub the honey over, over there. That is a lot of honey. But remember, it's not, it's when you fry it, it's going to give the color as well. Okay, so it's so kind of like so, a... So with pomegranate, we want the sweetness, we want mm -hmm. the taste. And we're going to pair it with citrus, so that's going to break, that's going to break the, the taste. So we're going to have the honey. And then when we put it in there, we're going to... To bring out more of the hibiscus flavor, we're going to make some hibiscus tea. So all you do is you steep some hibiscus tea, one tea bag, or depending on how much uh, chicken you're marinating. But don't make a full cup, like a half a cup that I've just added. And then all you do is you add that to your chicken and you let that marinate overnight, preferably. But if you don't have that much time, you can let it stand for at least two hours minimum so that it can draw Bring the, in the, the flavors, flavors and whatever. So you have done a chicken that has been marinated overnight. You see that it's lost lots of its color. Mm -hmm. um, so well, the not lost its color. It's, it, no, it's, it's inherited the pomegranate in, <laughs> color. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, it's changed the chicken's color. Yes. But um, the, the, the red brightness, you've lost it, but this was overnight. Mm. But if you leave it a little bit, for two hours, it will still maintain the color. But that's going to give our chicken a different color once we fry it. So we are going to pan fry it, although you can use any other method of cooking. You can grill it if you're having a okay. braai. You can do it in, in the oven. 
So I like pan fry because it's going to maintain the juices and the flavors. We're going to make because especially because we've got a chicken breast, it's going to make it more juicier compared to if you have it on on the open fire. Well, let's get uh, right. let's get so to let's, grilling. Let's get to grilling. <laughs> and and, and now, rather. obviously, we want it on a on a quite it, a hot heat, yes, right? We want it on a hot heat. Okay, while the pan is heating with the oil, we can now work on our couscous. So what we're going to do, we've got a cup of couscous over here. Do you use any particular type of couscous? I've tried a couple of couscous, but at the moment for me they are all... They They've been all much the same. same. They've been much the same. Okay. So we've got a cup of couscous and a lot of people want to cook the couscous, but you don't have to cook it. So all I do is you take some boiling hot water, but before we... The main thing for me about making couscous is that you've got to infuse the flavour from the beginning. Okay. Otherwise the couscous is very bland. Got it. So it's very bland. So what so am I adding? Also what are we doing is we are going to use from the range that we, we have been, we are using. We, we are making a citrus couscous. So Wood, Woodstock has got a citrus salt. So we're going to use citrus salt and they got a lovely product which is called, it's notchy. So oh, we, cool. this is like a little bit, uh, you have some over there. A little dried A little bit dried and a little bit sweet. And they've also got a little bit of a rose salt. Mm. So I'm going to use these spices to infuse into, into my couscous. So we'll add that. And then I'm also going to add fresh nachi. So Priya, for you to, to do, I've got a little job for you while I oh, do the great. chicken. So when we do the fresh nachi, you just take the nachi peel, but we don't want the pith. Okay. So we need you to take the pith off. Oh my goodness gracious. So all Jeez. you do is you hold it flat and then you cut the pith off. So and while you're doing that, I'm just going to get my chicken into, into the oven. I mean, onto the stove. This is why I'm a presenter, Mr. <laughs> Chef. <laughs> I hope you have the medics on standby. You may, uh, excellent. <laughs> oh, but we want more white off. More, white, more white, white, okay. Off, yeah. We take the white off. Yeah, hold it flat and take the white off. Because this is the this is the bitter part. So whether you're using orange or whether you're using nacho or any citrus fruit, even lemon, yeah, you just take the pith off, and then with that you can you can put the. <laughs> Are you sure you want to stand so close to my knife? <laughs> okay, but but because you're taking so slow, we, we've we've cut some already, <laughs> and we're putting in some fresh fresh nachi into into our couscous as well. Can I use your so little that, mini grater? Yes, you can. No, but you can use, I'm going to give you a full, full, uh, a so full that grater. Is, so that is when we have the, uh, if we want some zest, what we do is uh, a wash nachi, wash the peel. And then we, what we do is you just use the, the small okay. round and you just grate some zest <laughs> in there. Look at that. You're winning. I okay. think so. All right, so what we do, what we do after that, is like I said, your couscous, you don't need to, to cook it, so you've got your flavor infused over there, so we want the citrus. And then we just take hot water and just cover it. You just gotta about cover your, your couscous, you don't, want, you don't want it to be too, too full. And you don't put a lid on it? No, no, we're going to put a lid on it. Okay. Yeah. We'll just put a plate or if you've got cling wrap or anything and you just cover, cover your couscous All right. like that. So, yeah, that's better. That's much better eat. It's sizzling. Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, that's what we want. We want it to brown nicely and then that's what we're going to have. And basically that is... That is our dish. The, okay. rest, the rest of the things that we are going to use is um, to flavor our couscous and to flavor our, our chicken. Don't throw away your marinade because we're going to use our marinade for our sauce. Oh, that's really So once, you, once, your, once your chicken is done, you're actually is going what, to add it we're to gonna the pan. Use the, we're going to use the, uh, the, the, the juice of juice. Those lovely flavor into, juice into your chicken. So remember, if you want Marianne to come and cook for you, it is super, super simple. All you have to do is go to chefandguest.co.za, search for Marianne's profile, and she will come and do a full lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever you're looking for. 
be it two courses, three courses, five courses, you wanted to do 12 courses, she'll do it as well in the comfort of your own home. And we clean the kitchen. Uh, she cleans the kitchen up afterwards. I mean, look yeah, at this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she'll bring the, her own ingredients, set the table for you, and make sure you have an amazing evening. So, chefandguests.co.za. All right. So yeah, so once your chicken is browned, as you see now, can you come and see that color? Mm. We got a nice color, or we're getting a nice color over there. So what we do is just to, to chill the flavor, to juice it up. To juice it up. The same marinade, you put it, you put it in there. Ooh. Where's the alcohol? Oh. Bring the wine. But chicken usually doesn't take uh, very long to cook. It's like a couple of minutes, and and it will be okay. Done. So by now our couscous should be set. Look at look that. At you need so, to see this. There was water in it. Nothing and anymore. There's no more water. So essentially, all the water that you put in should absorb into the couscous. That's what you want. All right. Okay. So now we've got a little job for you as well. Yep. The couscous is sticking together. Now we've got to break it apart. So if you can get us fork. a fork, and then you just lightly break break it apart. So while it's added to, so now we're going to add our extras to it. I've got some citrus flavor. Olive oil, oh. but this is not the extra virgin olive oil because that's too strong. So this is just the normal olive oil. So we add some olive oil just to give it, give a bit it some of, little yeah. flavor. And then we're going to add some garlic. And then because I'm doing using the nachos because of this time of the year, but you can use lemon, you can use orange, orange. or depending on what Kumquats, time of the year it whatever is, you have, you can use that. So I've cut up some fresh. Um, Nachi. Nachis. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add some fresh nachis to it. And then we're going to add some onion. Basically the, the variance is up to you, okay. what you want to add. I've also got some, because we're doing the pomegranate, but we like, we're still lucky enough to get some fresh pomegranates. So we're going to add some fresh pomegranates. And then I've got some marge too. I'm also just going to... Some what? March 2. March 2? <laughs> what is March 2? Maybe I'm It looks like a sugar ignorant. pea. It looks like the sugar peas. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's the flatter version. It's just right. the... Uh, it's almost like snap snap peas. I just call it snap peas. Interesting. So we add some March 2 and then we also went to, I'm going to add some of the... Pepper juice. Pepper juice. So I love the pepper juice. It's got like a sweet, sweet and sour, sour taste. It's a little bit of spice to so, it as yeah. well. So we just chop that up to add some color. And the, there you go. So we mix it in. It. it looks like summer. So yeah, so that is what we're going for. We're going for the spring fresh fresh. I mean, look at that. That looks, it looks it like summer. Add it to, to your, so nothing heavy. We cook on the healthy side. And then? All right, and that's it. And what? Are we just are we going, done? We're just going to plate. <laughs> now we're going to plate. All right, let me get you a plate. Sure that, that we have. Okay, so we have our couscous over there. You know, do you want this or the one that's in the fridge? I haven't tasted that one. That's okay. Okay, okay. couscous, let me get some space for you so okay. you can plate nicely. Okay, that we're going to use, that we're going to use. Here we go. All right, so plating is going to depend on you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken. But first, let me get give me a spoon over there. A spoon, yes, I can get you a spoon. Okay, spiced enough. Nappy. Oh, it looks <laughs> divine. Plating again is uh, according to choice, uh, depending on However what you want, what you you want feel. to do. I don't want to, I'm going to do it separately because I want the flavors of both of them to stand apart. Okay. So if I put, if I put in the chicken on the couscous, you're it's not going to soak, soak in. Soak Got in. it. So I'm going to do, do it separately, um, but it's not going to be, you can plate it with um, rings and make yeah. it all fancy, but I'm just going to do it like very simple. Because this is for home cooking, we don't yeah. want to stress people out to think that, oh, you no, need I to can't. have. No, 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 you're no, gonna you, have this. You don't have to do a fancy yeah. plating. You, don't you have need to do Marianne <laughs> to exactly. come and do the fancy then plating you have for fancy you. Plating for, yeah, yes. then we'll do it fancy for you. You. At we're home. just here to enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're just bringing out the the summer just, flavors. Yes. And then we're so gonna get gonna into gonna that do? chicken. And do you need to do? let chicken rest? You can. The the if you don't want it, if you want the juices to to 
um, kind of soak back in soak again. Soak back in, yes. It's better for it to rest a little bit, but it's not like meat per se, because chicken, you want it well done yeah. in the first place. So you want it to be cooked thoroughly, but um, you can let the steam just cook it through okay. so that um, you can enjoy, uh, you can be sure that it's cooked through, but you also want it to be totally, totally juicy. So we're just going to... So you see, it's 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 white it's and it's white. Still it's not yeah. It's soft, so that means that juices are still very very really juicy. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is there's another spoon. Definitely. I can get you another spoon. So the marinade. This is the marinade that we what, that yeah. we used. So I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom of the plate. So it's going to infuse at the end, but it's not going to be completely in the couscous. Yes. So that you can still enjoy it separately. Oh, that looks divine. It looks like summer on a plate. Summer on a plate. Summer on a plate. So what, there's up to you now. I've got some more um, pomegranates. pomegranates just to enhance the, the flavor there of the pomegranate that we used. And just to add a pop of color. A pop of color. Got some parsley just to finish, finish it off. And if you want to, just add a little different texture. I've got some bean sprouts. So they add okay. a nice little bit of a, of a freshness to your plate. And then we're just going to garnish it a little bit with some watercress. No, it's not. This, this is mixed herbs. Like, that's mixed like baby, baby ah. shoots. So we're just going to garnish that with it. And then we've got a little tomato that we shaped for you there. And there you have it. And there you have it. All right. I, I, need, citrus. I need that fork. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get in here. I want to try this. Citrus. I love how Marianne's like, I'm still sorting out your plate. I'm like, just let me eat. <laughs> citrus flavored um, couscous. And oh, that looks amazing. Let's get in here. And that's it. Do the chicken on its own. So you just need to take some more sauce, man. Oh, some more sauce, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow. I really what, thought... What do you taste, though? I thought it would be sweeter because of the honey. Okay. It's not. Like, the honey, it's the really sweetness sweet. doesn't overpower it. And it's not too salty with the different sauce. No, it's not. And the cumin really gives it, it a, another element. It's not like that... So we, got a, we, so we got a fusion cook. Yes. Uh, <laughs> fusion cook. <laughs> it it kind of reminds me of like a Moroccan-ish yeah. kind of dish. South African Moroccan. Mmm. Mmm. I'd pay it with the... Um, mm, 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 mm. Well, have a cook okay, on its own. Nice and fresh and uh, mm. light for your summer dinners. What I'd really say is these flavors are so unique and so well created that you need to get your hands on these spices. And you can do that by entering our competition. All you have to do is click subscribe, like, and then leave a comment in the comment section and you could win an amazing hamper. Also go to chefandguests.co.za and book Marianne to cook at your next party. <laughs> We're gonna get back into this though. Yeah.